all this shit that needs to be blown up. Yeah, just accumulating boxes of junk. But we don't want to use a microwave oven transformer. That'd be quite disrespectful. Yeah, so I want a transformer that can power entire houses like that one. And I think I have one. I think we should take a look at it. Distribution transformer. Just picked it up today. Can't believe it. It's a lot bigger than I expected it to be, but I guess bigger is better. And stayed in price place pretty well for the uh, ride home. Too bad the FedEx guy uh, rammed the forklift into the back of my truck, and it's uh, a little dented in. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but we don't care about that, do we? Now while I'm waiting for this battery charger to charge to build a ramp, I think we should take a better look at this new transformer. Sorry about the wind noise, but as you can see, I think this dolly here is going to work perfect for it. This is a sorry propane canister. Uh, dolly got it off the big pallet so now it's just here a little bit about this transformer it came up on my ebay feed randomly um, and I just couldn't say no $299 is all this cost compare that to several thousand to buy one from a manufacturer and the only caveat to this transformer is right up here this bush thing here, I don't know if you can hear it, but it is cracked. But I contacted the manufacturer and it is only $83 to replace, which is unbelievable. 15 kVA weighs 263 pounds, which is actually a little bit lighter than I thought when I was getting that bottom pallet out. It isn't that bad. 12240 and there's the manufacturing date May of 2015 brand new FedEx did do a little number on it I don't know if you're gonna be able to see they kind of pushed in this uh, bracket here but I think I can sort that out and yeah, basically I'm still in shock after how cheap this was these are uh, aluminum or uh, copper for some reason. I don't know why um, they would use copper on distribution lines. It's just heavy and expensive, but I'm not going to complain. At least I can use some household cable to power it up. This is the manufacturing pallet, so never even taken off of it. Has a tap changer. And there it is. I'm not gonna take this plastic wrap off yet because since this is cracked, it is leaking a minuscule of oil around. So I don't want to spill that in the yard. It'd probably be pretty bad for the environment. But I'm just going to try and get it out of here without dropping it, but that's why I parked on the grass to dampen the fall. But it's not like we're going to break anything if it's already been broken. So I've got the one ramp set up, and it seems to hold my complete weight okay, but I'm a little worried that when this flexes out, it's gonna come right off there, rip this plastic piece off, and fall. So I hope that doesn't happen, but here we go, breaking the factory seal on this. Hopefully it doesn't tip over. It's a little loose and shaky.
That's some serious plastic. Probably not made in China. here. There we go. No longer can sell it as new. What a shame. Well, I'm going to try and get this off without killing myself and uh, hopefully get it down in the yard. Okay, I finally got it out. It took about two hours. Uh, the sun's actually starting to go down. But um, if you're wondering how I got it out by myself, I used... Uh, ratchet straps and I clipped one end to the back of the vehicle on the tie down and then I wrapped one end around the pulley or not the pulley <laughs> to make a pulley I wrapped one end around the dolly ran it back wrapped it around again and I put a second one here so it divided it by three and I was able to slide it down very slowly um, on its side I put some rags in between the tailgate and the uh, bed so that it wouldn't the handle wouldn't catch um, I tried to get it down by myself just by wheeling it down that was a very bad idea I almost crushed myself lucky I didn't drop it or injure myself but I got it down and I think it's time to open it up Holy crap, that is some strong shrink wrap. But anyway. So here's the broken insulator. I am surprised it did not leak any oil when I had it on its side. I had it laying this way. Did not leak any oil. But I can tell someone's splashing around uh, during shipment because it's uh, quite slippery. She's quite broken. <sighs> Massive, look at that. Now, manufacturing tag, yes, yeah, hasn't even been outdoors yet, or I mean, stored outdoors. Everything about this thing is big. It's hilarious. I wasn't expecting it to be this large. I was expecting uh, it to be like the size of that bucket. <laughs> awesome. It's a grounding rod. I don't know if I'm going to have to take that off or not. I'm not going to be powering this up on my house. Um, I'm bleeding. Um, because these things take a lot of inrush current, and I don't really want to... Uh, destroy the electronics in my house. Um, I, I would consider it if this had the two bushings, but this has one bushing and this other side is grounded to the tank, which is in return grounded here. And, you know, 7200 or 1440 volts, divide that by two, and that's what you'd be sending back in the ground in your house. Uh, wouldn't be the greatest. But this is awesome, I can't stop smiling. Well, I finally got it inside. I didn't really need help. I just used the ramps again and wheeled it up. It wasn't too bad. And I threw a whole bunch of this junk out of the way. I really need to get this out of here. Just a whole bunch of meter sockets and electrical meters. But um, 
Yeah, it's massive. Look at that. It's larger than the printer. And it literally costs as much as a replacement toner cartridge. It actually costs less. Can't believe it. Here's an iPhone also for size comparison. Look at that. Insane. It's pretty tall. That pool station there is about 50 inches off the ground. So that should give you a good estimate. It is, I believe in the, specs, the specifications, it said that it was 36 inches tall. Um, I don't know if that was from this, like the cap, or the top of the insulator. Um, but it's definitely fatter than I thought it would be. And unfortunately we cannot power it up because it is broken. Very upsetting, but um, I'm going to wait until I get back from a uh, vacation to get a new insulator from, for it. Um, I contacted the manufacturer, it does take a while for them to be shipped, so I'll work on that when I get back, but as you can see, just ginormous. Surprised the uh, floor isn't falling in. And I was able to open it up, I'll put a picture in. Um, I put some Loctite on this uh, insulator bushing, um, just for temporary to keep it, you know, in place. It's actually very good, um, but it's definitely not for high voltage. So I'm going to wait until I get a new bushing in. And around the back here, the tap changer, let me show you that. Let me turn this thing around. Yeah, it's actually, it's pretty light, I must say. If I really needed to in a life or death situation, I probably could lift this up with an adrenaline rush. It's only 250 pounds. It weighs definitely more than me, but it, uh, it's not that heavy. So there's a tap changer. And, um, I don't know how this insulator was broken off, but it seems like they were pushing it back on a shelf. Uh, like in a warehouse and it probably hit this bushing right up here and broke it forward because the tap changer is uh, surprisingly not damaged but the it's I think it's a 8 gauge cable that feeds this and it goes down to the tap changer and there's four positions uh, you'll see it in the picture But you can see where this kind of was forced, where it scratched the A and the 2. So I think when this uh, did that, it kind of like wrecked havoc on the inside. But fortunately, I do not believe that this is leaking oil. If that was leaking oil, that'd be a big problem because the oil level is supposed to be about, about like right up here, probably the top of this uh, mounting bracket. And the oil level in this is actually like right down here. So it is low. I'm going to have to buy some transformer oil. I don't know where I'm going to get it. But definitely a good price for what I paid for it. So this here is on the low setting of 7200. And then click that up one to 1440. And I believe this is the oil drain here. Let me spin it back around. Ground terminal, this is actually some pretty big, like, uh, bus bar almost. And, uh, these huge terminals. Wonder how many amps this can pull through. 15 kVA is rated for, I believe, 75 amps continuous at 240 volts. Um, I know that the p power companies in this local area will push these um, up to 200 amps. Um, people who have a 200 amp electrical service and people, like, if they don't have any houses around, they will get a 15 kVA transformer. So, it probably can handle it. I'm definitely not going to do that kind of power input on this most likely because the only generator I'm going to be able to get is probably a 
crappy consumer one. But it's nice to know that I will probably never burn this thing out, unlike those microwave oven transformers. Yes, yeah, uh, definitely awesome find. I'm still kind of really happy that I got it. But, yeah, definitely not recommended to play with these indoors. Just, uh, what is this? How many gallons of oil? Yeah, 12 gallons. It's basically a 12 gallon pressure cooker, which is ready to explode if you really push these to the limits, so I'm really only going to play with this outside but it definitely makes a nice collection piece here sorry there's all this junk around it, but I'm going to get that cleaned up that's it for this video catch you in the next one